Hi, just wanted to have a little rant on a new feature that's uh, been introduced by YouTube for uh, content producers like me. It's uh, the end screen feature. Now this has been uh, much requested and is uh, solves a really annoying problem um, for us YouTube content producers. And let me uh, show you what I'm talking about here. You've probably seen at the end of uh, videos, for example, like mine, um, and many content producers, YouTubers, including myself, have at the end of the video, uh, you typically have these little uh, windows here with uh, videos that you can click on, little animated uh, videos. And you'll have other links like going to subscribe and things like that, so you can subscribe to my channel, or you can visit my EEV blog website, or you can support me on Patreon, and stuff like that. And I've been doing uh, this uh, for a long time. It's a little bit annoying uh, to actually embed these types of uh, videos because you have to bake them into your video. You have to edit them in and it really is uh, quite annoying. Like uh, a recent one, for example, uh, let me show you my one of my video editor here, which is uh, Sony Movie Studio. And you can see at the end of the timeline here, I actually put in four separate videos here because uh, I had other videos which might be uh, which people might find interesting on exactly the same topic. The oscilloscope there, so I've had to actually embed these videos in there and put the overlays on there and everything else, and it takes a bit of work. I haven't been, I didn't do that a lot back in the early days, but in more recent times, I have actually been going to the effort to do that because people do click on these things. And anyway, you've got to embed these in your videos, and once you've done that, and then you can use the um, annotation feature where it is. It's now called end screen and annotation, but it used to be just annotations where you uh, can add. Uh, anyone can do this, any YouTube uh, producer. Yes, here we go. I add in these different elements down in here, right? So this is annotations. So I can add specific annotations, spotlights, you can add um, uh, sp speech bubbles, notes, uh, titles, spotlights, labels, all that sort of thing are anywhere in your videos. And this is, a, annotations are a fantastic feature, uh, especially for technical videos like uh, mine, where often I'll say something stupid, get something wrong, I'll miss something, or I wanna add something uh, after. I've edited the video and uploaded it to YouTube because once you upload your video to YouTube, that's it. You cannot edit the video. Well, you can edit like the start and the end, but you can't like chop out a bit in the middle or you can't add stuff in the middle. You basically cannot edit the video. You're stuck. Otherwise, you've got to actually delete the video, losing all your comments, all your views, everything else, and you've got to edit it, uh, and then re-upload it from fresh. And that's, you know, I very rarely do that, only in exceptional cases. And annotations are great for adding little technical notes and things like that over the video. And they're also great for adding uh, these types of uh, little, uh, you know, links to videos and subscriptions and uh, support things and merchandise and all sorts of uh, stuff that YouTubers have to do. Uh, full-time YouTubers have to do anyway to make a living from this thing and try and get v extra views and everything else and all that sort of jazz. Anyway, uh, so that's great. But the problem with annotations is that, here we go, it actually tells you right here, it now actually warns you, annotations don't work on mobiles. And of course, YouTube's really big on mobile uh, content, like something like 30% or something or more of YouTube videos are actually watched on mobile devices now, be it phones or tablets or whatever, phablets. Um, and, you know, it's getting to be a big deal. My viewership actually has less on mobile devices because they're more, I don't know, you know, engineers all have computers, uh, you know, real computers on their desktop and they go around dinky little phones. Anyway, it's an important thing. So what they've done is they added this end screen tool which allows you to do all that stuff that we had to do in the editing before here. Um, you can actually do this in YouTube so you don't have to do it in your video editor. So let's go and have a look at um, this feature. Here we go. Annotations don't work on mobiles. Try cards or end screens. I won't go into cards, but let's have a look at the end screen tool. I've got it here somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. Um, this uh, particular video, designed a better multimeter part two, which is excellent, by the way, if you haven't seen it, um, I'm using the end screen 
uh, the new end screen feature. And basically it allows you to add elements in a similar sort of way. You can add videos or playlists, you can add subscription and stuff like that and add channels. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've added these three elements. One is a video up in the corner there, which I can drag around and put it anywhere on that screen. So basically what I do is in my video editor now, uh, it only allows you to use the last 20 seconds. Here's the first really annoying thing about this. Um, I can't scroll this timeline down here. I can make it smaller or wider, but this end screen only works in the last 20 seconds. That's it. So to actually use this, I've got to put, put like a still image at the end here to use it for 20 that lasts for 20 seconds so that I've got something to that's in the background so I put my um, image there and uh, so yeah this is great okay you can add all these things there's a link to my patreon account there's a link to my website which is an I don't you can add custom images and stuff like that um, but that fits in the hand nicely and it all looks you know pretty oh does that play it's not even playing oh damn anyway there we go is that better hmm anyway you can add all this stuff fantastic right until right so if I go into one that's got annotations because a lot of my videos have annotations as I said useful for putting stuff over the top of the videos anywhere in your video so I can scroll this along the timeline anywhere here and I can just add a little note in and things like that you know a technical note um, overlaid on the video yes I don't work on mobiles but they're bloody useful and um, they're a fantastic essential feature for any youtuber these annotations but if you go if you want to add your end screen okay you've added all your annotations look Wah, 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 wah. end screen elements and annotations cannot be used on the same Video. Oh. Why? I know that annotations can't be used on mobiles. Fine, but why can't I have both? I basically has, have to choose between having the nice new feature of 20 seconds at the end of my video where I can add my little uh, thumbnail videos and you know links to my Patreon and website and everything else, or I can have annotations and choose to correct my videos afterwards. I can't have both. Why? It's bloody ridiculous. If I actually do this, yes, unpub. Look, I no, go to annotations. Yes, unpublish annotations and create end screen. It's like, ah, oh, unbelievable. So, uh, like, it, ah, oh. <laughs> fantastic new feature right end screen I like it it's a winner except for the fact that it's only the last 20 seconds but hey I can live with that limitation but then to not be able to use annotations is just ridiculous why what is the technical reason why they can't have both I I don't know um, like there, there must be a technical reason right it there, there has to be but I don't get it if anyone knows Please leave it in the comments, but this is absolutely stupid. So when this end screen feature first came out, I thought, fantastic, I'll do the, all my stuff. Don't have to do it in the video editor anymore. I'll just do it in YouTube and I can change it at a later point. And bloody winning concept. But then, I went, and then it deleted all of my annotations that I added to the thing. It's just it's insane. It's an absolutely insane limitation and so frustrating. So I've gone back now to just doing it the old way because I need annotation support in my videos. So I've just gone back to doing it the old way with the video editor and everything else. So there you go. I don't know. I just wanted to have a rant about that. End screen feature is just, that limitation is ridiculous. So... If anyone knows or have had any comments from YouTube over this or if anyone else is frustrated by this, leave it in the comments. Catch you next time.